Did you ever wonder why the United States maintains a massive stockpile of petroleum? The answer dates back to the turbulent oil embargoes of 1973 and 1974, which exposed the vulnerability of the US to oil shocks. The Strategic Petroleum Reserve, or SPR, was created in response to these events, with a sole purpose to act as a safety net in times of crisis. Originally, the SPR was designed to accumulate reserves that could be used during periods of war, natural disasters, or other events that disrupted oil supplies. It also served as a buffer in times when global oil supply faced threats, such as the blockage of strategic waterways. As part of the International Energy Agency's strategy, the United States is expected to maintain a 90-day oil supply. When an oil disruption occurs, the SPR can be tapped to sell its reserves, which helps to alleviate the impact of the disruption. Thanks to the fungible nature of oil, such sales can soften the price spike, although it cannot completely eliminate it due to the uncertainty it introduces into the oil futures market. The United States has the authority to store up to 714 million barrels of oil, as legislated by Congress. This massive reserve is stored in underground salt caverns along the Gulf Coast of Texas and Louisiana. Output. Fast forward to 2010, the SPR peaked at 727 million barrels. However, by 2021, it had reduced to 638 million barrels. The Russian invasion led to sanctions against Russian oil, causing supply disruptions. The administration released large quantities from the SPR to stabilize the world market. The SPR levels have seen a consistent decrease under the current administration. Before the Russian invasion, the administration reduced the SPR by 10%, an attempt to counteract the rise in US inflation, which jumped from 1.7% in January 2021 to 7.0% by the end of that year. The SPR release was intended to alleviate inflation in the US, a consequence of federal deficit spending partially financed by an increase in the money supply. All of this happened before the Russian invasion of Ukraine. By the end of 2022, the EU inflation rate had risen to 9.2%, while the US stood at 6.5%. The US imports about a third of its energy needs, contrasting with Europe's heavy reliance on Russian energy. This difference explains the distinct inflationary pressures in the two regions. Currently, the SPR stands at 358 million barrels. The administration has cited the need to stabilize oil markets post-invasion, as the reason for this depletion. However, the SPR continues to be depleted even after the oil shock from the invasion has passed. The administration has leveraged the SPR to mitigate the impacts of its policies that have curtailed US oil futures, thus increasing oil prices. The selling of the oil reserve was arguably justifiable in 2022, post the Russian sanctions. However, once stability was restored in 2023, the need for such action ceased. Since the current administration took office, the SPR has been reduced by 208 million barrels, reaching levels unseen since 1983. It's estimated that 135 million barrels were sold off due to the Ukraine war impact, and 73 million were sold to soften the US inflationary pressures. In conclusion, the SPR serves as a tool to stabilize oil markets during global crises. However, it was never intended to alleviate impacts resulting from fiscal or monetary policy decisions. Its use as a smokescreen to hide the political implications of such policies on the US electorate is a deviation from its original purpose.